A warm welcome everyone, I'm glad you can join me, my name is Nick and this is Drive Club on the PlayStation 4, developed by Evolution Studios and published by Sony in 2014. It's a racing game where you can play single player or online multiplayer and we're off. Now there's numerous um, different views on this, this is the first time I've played it so it's just getting used to which one is the easiest to control and I'm not sure which one. Oh, already it's a little bit tricky to control. Always with a, a racing game, it takes you a little bit of a while to get the, the hang of it. Whoops! <laughs> no, I haven't got the hang of it. Never do your first race at night, that's my tip. Uh, in this game, you can compete in different racing events around the world. Uh, you collect credits to unlock different cars and uh, upgrades. Um, Nick, let's just concentrate on this. Now, if you're online, you can uh, compete in different clubs by uh, joining friends. You can customise your cars with paint jobs and stickers you can unlock. There's a campaign mode, a trial mode, single races, and uh, I think I was on manual gears there. Let's tr let's muck about the settings, which I should have done this before. Yeah, so campaign modes, trials, single races, tournaments, dr and drifting events. So it's sort of like in the uh, mode of Gran Turismo, where you're trying to unlock as much as you can. Uh, there's a weather system in this and day and night cycles, but it's all over road uh, races. Right, lots and lots of tracks. It was on auto, uh, automatic gears anyway, so let's continue. Now, I think we're in some sort of mountains. There's a bit of snow about the place, and the graphics on this are absolutely wondrous. If you're wondering, I am controlling this using a controller, and I can tell already it'd be a much easier or more fun experience with a steering wheel and pedals. So if you've got this, get a steering wheel and pedals. I'm on the controller and I'm sliding around everywhere. So as a simulation, I think it's quite realistic. I need to learn how to brake better on corners. Now there's a VR version of this as well. Um, well, I bet that'd be absolutely insane. The camera angle we've gone for is on the bumper, so not realistic if you're watching this, but uh, it makes it easier to control. Now I think it's probably easier around the bends if I Oh man, this is taking a bit of concentration compared to normal. Probably easier around the bends if I don't take my finger off the accelerator and just brake on and off, rather it goes into some sort of slide. Lots of different cars in this that uh, control slightly different. The cars are split into five categories, which are hot hatch, sports, performance, super and hyper. Now you need to keep an eye on the map on the bottom left here if you're unfamiliar with the circuits. Some are a lot longer than others. Look at that mountain there. Right, I think we can go around it quite quickly. Try and take the racing line to gain a bit of speed. So I'm catching these guys back up again. Well, but I'm 11th of 12, which isn't great, but this is my first goal. A few of my online friends on the PlayStation 4 network have got this game as well, I've noticed. So it will say every now and again what my time is compared to them. And uh, they've probably played it a bit more than me, to be honest with you. This game is absolutely gorgeous. Let's just concentrate on getting good before the end of the review. So I'm going to start off rubbish, and hopefully by the end I'm going to be marginally less rubbish. Oh dear. But I can tell already that uh, this game is going to take up a lot of my time, and um, maybe I'm going to struggle to run the channel if I get addicted to it too much. Anyway, let's just keep going, Nicky. You can do this as we zip up into eighth place. Oh, that's good. Cool. They're going very slow around there. That's why. So I'm six for twelve. So these these opponents, I think I'm quite confident I can beat these after a few goes as the snowstorm comes down. Cockpit view gives you different views depending on what car you're in. But uh, the, whoa, man! I think this is just an introduction race first of all, and then you're mate into the main game where campaign takes up the most of it. Built for online, this, but I still haven't got my PS. Uh, Plus, what's that checkered flag? Right, that's the end. There we go. I haven't got my PS Plus thing sorted out there. I am going to enjoy this game for years, I think. Let's race around the world. Is it better than Gran Turismo? Well, it's PlayStation 4, it must be. Boom. If you have this game, then let me know. I'm probably doing heaps wrong. And I've earned a trophy. You only get one first time. So that was the first time ever, and it's recorded online. Maybe I should have practiced, but there we go. That wasn't too bad by me, skill-wise. I think I'm quite confident, even with the controller, that I'm going to get gradually better. Yeah, but if the rest of the game's like that, we're in for a treat, I think. Loads and loads of circuits on this. 
Welcome to Drive Club. So that was the introduction of what the game was about. I'm not sure what the loading times are like. I might have to edit them down. And no doubt there'll be some cutscenes where I'll have to edit or make them um, darker or something like that. Right, so... There's my profile we can change. Garage, check what cars you've got. Create a club online. Let's just go to Drive. That seems the most straightforward. Drive Club The Bikes was come out in 2015. So this, although Drive Club came out in 2014, this special version uh, involves the uh, bikes as well, as the DLC included. I might do another video about the bikes. This is just about the cars. We'll do a couple of single races first of all. A couple of face-offs, then we might jump into a campaign. Uh, I don't want this to go on for hours and hours, but I, I guess it could do if I get carried away. Right, but I need to improve how I drive here. I need a bit more practice. That first race, although interesting, I was very, very poor around the corners. Just trying to get used to the cornering speeds. It starts off nice and easy, I think. So look at all these. Canada, Chile, India, Japan. And, and there's not just one track on each of these places. There's lots of different ones and unlockables too. We'll go to Canada. Lovely scenery on this. Now the problem I might have is um, I start looking at the scenery and start crashing. On the controller, you use the two analog sticks. Uh, one to steer and the other one to look round, which should come in pretty handy. But I'd love to play this on VR. That'd be awesome. Don't think I can do it on my actual PS4. Right, so there's the environment settings. Uh, let's just go. We're at uh, Cayuse Point, wherever that is. So lots of cars here, but I haven't unlocked any of them. Some you can buy actually in the PlayStation Network store. Well, we just got one car to start off with. So it's probably going to be a bit of a banger, a bit slow. It's a sports car. Different paint jobs there. But I think we have to be in a club to um, get the paint jobs, do we? Or will it let us? I do not know. Yeah, we do. So, first go uh, means I haven't unlocked anything. It's going to take you quite a while to unlock the stuff. But yes, great fun. Uh, another PlayStation 4 racing game I've reviewed so far is Need for Speed Rivals. And when people talk about the best game so far on the PlayStation 4, these two come up quite a lot. I haven't played Project Cars, but I think that is impossible without a steering wheel. I don't want to get too many of the same game. As we go through the your woods here, there's the track, which I'll have to darken down or make bigger or something. Right, here we go. I'm not quite sure the controls here. What did I do before? Uh, <laughs> worst start ever. Well done, Nick. Nothing like giving him a head start. Right, cockpits are more realistic, but I, I, yeah, I find it tricky doing this. We might have to go to bumper again. We'll see how we get on. Yeah, bumper. We're in a Mercedes. Uh, chase fuel, no. Yeah, this, this is much better. Whoops. <laughs> he says that and spins right. Okay. Where's the map? Why isn't the map there? I need a map. Right, I'm going to have to learn this. The, uh, oh, despite that error of reversing at the start, the opponents don't seem to go too far away. So this is a good way of practicing and uh, getting better at the game for doing the main campaign. But we will jump into the main campaign ill-prepared. Occasionally, as I mentioned there, look at that mountain. As I mentioned, um, your friends' best times have come up. So hopefully, my friends have already done this, they'll come up. And they'll probably, they'll probably unlock better cars than me and probably go around about 30, 40 seconds quicker a lap or the course. We're in, a, we're in a nice, gentle drive. So, if you've got a PlayStation 4, well, look at that, there we go. First of many, I've gone past my first checkpoint, so it looks like it's quite kind with the trophies on this. Hard braking coming on here, I, I can even see that coming on. No racing line, but we have got automatic gears. Probably can take that a bit, a bit uh, quicker than that. I'm, I'm now, I've, I've gone from being very, very cautious to too cautious. Let's catch these boys up. Look at the depth of these trees, man. Accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. It looks like a nice, well, it's a sort of sunny day. It's slightly overcast as I take out some of the scenery. We're not going to go up that mountain, that's for sure. Once you've learnt the tracks and the courses, which will take quite a while, this game can be an absolute joy. Mm, again, I could have gone a bit quicker there. I think I pressed a button that's taken all the positions off, because normally there would be a map, I think. But it isn't about being brilliant, it's a question of just learning it. Who's that? Well, a split time from someone, but I didn't have time to read it. 
If that's you, if you're one of my PlayStation uh, friends, then great. Uh, N Jenkins 7, if you want to add me on the PS4 network, if you've got this game and you want to be better than at least one person, <laughs> then you'll probably be better than me. Right, we're past that chap. Right, here we go. Oh, they're blocking the road here, these two. I... Stuck in the inside, good. I think they blocked each other there. Whoops, oops, smash. Now, in real life, that would be the end of the race, because I'd be dead. Don't know what position I'm in. All I know is I'm not last. Go, go, go. This this is probably the best racing game, graphically and sound-wise, I have ever played. God bless the PlayStation. I mean, what's the PlayStation 5 going to be like if it ever comes out? Um, this, this is absolutely, I mean, heaven here. It hasn't got to go too far much forward, and then you won't be able to distinguish this between real life. Oops. Yeah, I got overtaken on the line there, I think. Where did I come? Well, now, you can build up your experience points. At the moment, I'm level one. We'll do another race there. I think I pressed the fire button, so I didn't know where I come, but halfway down the order. So my second race was a lot better than my first race. Wasn't too many tight corners on that one though, was there? Where should we go now? I did see I did see Scotland a bit further up. Scott, let's do Scotland somewhere. Probably be the same car because we haven't locked anything. Is that lighthouse place? Are these based on real um, places in Scotland? I presume they are. Do you recognise any of them? If you're from Scotland, let me know if you recognise any of these sites. But look at these courses go on forever. Yes, let's do one of the ones near the start. I like that lighthouse one. Let's do that. Maybe we'll see the lighthouse family. Check out the stats there. It's not snowing this time and it's not night time. Play. Yeah, just one car. It's going to be fun when we start unlocking these. If we do, I don't know how much effort it does take to unlock them. Factory, because we're not in a part of a club, which you have to be online to do. But you can still customise your cars offline once you've unlocked the various bits. Uh, there's lots and lots of events in this. I don't know quite how many. The box doesn't say. Well, that's nice. Nice water. I don't want to flip off and in inside that water. Right, now, good. Better start than last time. I wasn't in reverse. Bit of wheel spin from the guy next to me. Now, I've got my positions on the screen, which we didn't have last time. And check out the map. 11 of 12. I can use them as a bit of a guide. Yeah... That was alright. I carried a bit of speed there, but I was way off the line. You do get pen penalised if you cut corners. Oh, look. See, my car's too slow at the moment. Building up experience points all the time. And they're leaving me for dead. This reminds me of the early stages in Gran Turismo, actually, where your car was a bit rubbish. And before you upgraded it, um, you didn't have a chance. But, yeah, I'm just learning about racecraft here. I'm not sure if there's Formula 1 cars later on in this game. I bet they squeeze one in and we go slightly wide. Uh, road handling of this car is not quite so good. I don't know why they're going so slow there. Yeah, I think once you get used to it, these will be like the baby cars you can beat every time. So if you're experiencing this game, this might be a little bit painful. But uh, we all remember our first goes, don't we, really? Come on, Nick. Commentating and concentrating on this at the same time is going to prove a little bit tricky. We'll see, we'll see how we do. Yeah. Car is sliding a little bit. I'd like to be fighting the steering wheel around here. I think we have to get an average speed as well, looking at that graphic below. Rear view mirror there, so we see what's behind us. Um, I think the, we're racing a bit later in the day than before. It's slightly darker. 60, oh, someone's just hit me from behind. We're 9th of 12th. I don't think a win's on the cards here. Get out the way. Oops, dear me. It's quite kind when you crash into the scenery. It does put you back on the track again. I don't know if all the circuits are this kind. So it's a simulation, but it's arcade as well. I'm not quite sure how much damage the car's taking. The, form, the performance hasn't been affected. Yeah, it looks like we can take quite a lot of buffers in without too much problems going on. Tight corner coming up to my right here. Yeah, he's flown in way too fast. I've taken the inside line and taken it ultimately quicker. 8 of 12, so I'm not last. Uh, what are we about? 95%. There should be a checkered flag coming up soon. There it is up the top. 
buff. Okay. So I'm still pretty average, but getting slowly better, I would say. But way, way down the order. It's an okay time. I'm in the ballpark. 8,396 credit points. Up to level 2, and I've unlocked a beetle, I think. We've unlocked a Volkswagen Beetle that looks like a bee. So our first car, do we get? Do we not get a trophy for our first unlock? That's a bit stingy. Just after I said you get a lot of trophies in this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Better late than never. Good. Um, right. Shall we do? Shall we do a campaign now, or just a few a few um, leagues at least? So this, if you've got Gran Turismo in the past, you'd be familiar with this sort of like system. We've got single events, a tour, a random event. We do, we'll do a few tracks on the tour, I think. There we go. So look at this. Loads and loads and loads of options on here. We'll do a drive club tour, but look, there's loads of them. You could be playing this for absolutely years. Uh, I got this cheap, I think, online for about 15, 16 pounds. For all you get available, plus the bikes, remember, uh, there's a DLC in 2015, um, it's a no-brainer. If you've got a PS4 or a PS4 Pro, you've got to buy this. Even if you've got an Xbox One, uh, did this come out on the Xbox One? I'm not sure. I, I presume it did. Uh, if you can get this cheap enough, you just just buy it. Buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Sensational game. Sensational. Right. We're in the Tamil Nadu Invitational. Yeah. Have you done that in real life before? I'm guessing not. Right, sort of like dusk again. Not quite night time. The road's breaking up a little bit. Go, go, go. Right, we've got two laps. There's ten cars in this one. Let's see if we can get the bends a bit. But this is a very tight corner. Yeah, see the cars are very slow around the really tight corners. And that's where I can uh, cash in, I think. Good. I oh, actually hit the apex of that one. Well done. Oops. Yeah, because you don't know the track, Nick. Three of ten. Fourth of ten. Yeah, I, I, a podium position could be on the cards here. Fourth of ten. Tight corners is where I make the ground, it seems. Although they're on the line and I'm not taking them very well. I'm a wild man. There's the gap. Two tenths behind that fellow. I could literally get that under braking. There's another tight corner coming up. Going left. Let's try and feather the throttle here with brakes. Yep. Right, okay, right under his bumper now. Road doesn't look that wide. There's a chance here, no. Squeeze in. Might be able to get the other chap as well. No, I didn't actually overtake him. Accelerate through, right. <laughs> Screech of tyres. I know I said at the start this game was awesome. It's even more awesome than I said before. Look at the light reflecting off the alloys of the cars. It's a real live environment, this. I don't know why the blue racing line's suddenly on again. Maybe it's there to help me. You can have auto braking, which I turn off because that defeats the object. I don't like a racing game where it's got auto braking. Auto gears, fair enough, when you're getting used to the game. Uh, once I am used to it, I'll take auto gears off because that'd be more of the fun of it. I'm not sure I'll have the... Uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to take auto gears off with using a controller mine, the steering wheel. You've got more like a sense that you're plugged into the car. Right, check out that map. I haven't got a big distance. There might be a bit of rubber banding here to prevent you getting too far away or behind. First of ten, I lead the race. They're trying to catch me up. And this is lap two of two. Have I learned... <laughs> Have I learned... Have I... I don't know. I can't even complete that sentence. Have I learned the, the lap? as I demolish all that person's flowers. Why would you grow lots of pretty flowers on the corner of a racetrack which you knew I was on? I don't know. Still quite a bit to go here. I'm quite confident. Am I going to win my first race? And that must be that must be worth a trophy. Good. Go, go. Right, just a couple of bends left. It'll be very hard to overtake me if I'm easy on the... quick on the accelerator. Varied scenery on this, isn't there? I, no two trees the same. Now, now you're gonna have to go through and look at every tree. No wildlife yet, so no birds flying around the sky or a deer crossing the track. I think we're gonna win our first race. Surely, where's that? Ch I thought I thought the checkered flag was gonna come up. That's a checkpoint. It's round here. Is that it there? 
I think that's it there. Floor it. There's the square. I can just make it out. There it is. Boom. I've won my first drive club race. Pretty much when I had it recorded, I scored my first goal in kickoff revival. Here's me winning my first race in drive club. Yay, Nicky, you are okay after all. So it's uh, saveable then. Um, I started on hopeless. I'm slightly better already, although not a genius by any means. It's still pretty much beginner sort of mode, I presume. But it's all about learning it. It'd be rude not to do another couple of races, wouldn't it? At least one more, at least one more. What else is available? So, we we unlocked two stars out of three on that one, so there's more to be gained. But uh, hopefully at some point where I unlock a quicker or better car, I'll be able to ace that. But two out of three is not too bad. I think, is there another race in this championship? I don't think I should have clicked on that, no. Uh, next one is this Knights one. And we know what happened on my first race, the uh, the introduction race. All these other ones you have to unlock first of all. That's not happening. A rookie championship. So even to get to the rookie championship, you have to unlock a certain amount or get a level. I think I'm on level two, aren't I, at the moment? Good old drive club. Sony 2014, developed by Evolution Studios. A lot of good racing games, but uh, you can't go wrong with this one. Uh, hot hatches. What's got the most power? That's what I'm going to go for. It looks like this car's got the most power. He's got the power. It doesn't look anything special compared to later cars in this uh, game, but everyone's got to start somewhere. Maybe I'll put up some other videos at some point when I've unlocked quite a bit of stuff. We'll definitely be having a look at the bikes at some stage. That was me getting in the car. I, uh, I've skipped past that. You see the whole interior when that happens. This looks a little bit more open. Looks like you can go off-road a little bit more. Oh, look at that low sun. Don't stare at the sun. You can get away with it on computer games, but don't do it... Actually, even though this is a computer game, my eyes are hurting staring at the sun. I want to put on some glasses. How they managed to do that, I don't know. My eyes have gone funny. What was all that? We just went through a load of rubbish there and some more rubbish. I think that's bits of cars, isn't it? Come on, let's concentrate. Right, we're 7th for 12. Let's see if we can win another race and create the miracle. And my racing career starts. Is that. A, what are those things? I think uh, there's a. Telescopes. It's astronomy type things around here. Okay, keep an eye on the map. Car doesn't swing around as much as Need for Speed um, Rivals. That's slightly more arcadey, although this has got an arcade element to it, although slightly more sim. I can't make my mind up. Is this, is this arcade or a sim? It's probably more arcade. Let's go with that. Nice reflection off the car again, which brings the game to life. Makes it very real. Now, this game doesn't feel cartoony at all, does it? Cars might take... Yeah, see, cars take a bit of damage. You can see it um, live, developing. Uh, dirt as well, I think, or scratches. If you should freeze it, it might look a bit blurry, but that creates an element of speed. Uh, graphically, it's the best game I've ever played, ever. Back past the radar dishes. Will they find alien life? I don't know. It's me talking about aliens when I should be concentrating on this. We're on lap two. You haven't noticed. Pull through here. King of the cold. Can I get round the outside of that chap? Good. The car held on. So we're leading again. Of 12. Let's just hold on to this thing. Only one. Oops. Oh, I lost the back end there almost. Just caught it at the last moment. Don't want anyone to hit me from behind. Just concentrate, concentrate. Bit misty in the distance. Right, come on, Nick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That felt quite good. Until that happened. But I've still... Oh, I thought I had the lead, but I haven't. Let's cut him off. Bit of uh, dangerous driving on my part. One lap to go. It suddenly got very dark, hasn't it? It's just my own headlights. It's a good job I don't know the button to turn those off. So I presume... I don't know if there is a button to turn them on and off, but I don't want to turn them off at this point, because racing around in pitch darkness is not my bag, baby. Look at the rear view mirror. They're all queuing up behind me. Someone's going to come past now, surely. Nope. I think I blocked them. Can we just keep it going? It's a lot darker than the last lap. Go, go, go. Gets dark in the mountains here. It is night time. 
checkpoint. Oh, that's the finish. Hooray, I've done it again. On the podium. Mm, that must happen if you... Yeah, but I won the race, didn't I? That must happen if you get a couple of top three positions. So, yeah, first and first. Can't argue with that. Good stuff. So, if you've played racing games before, which I have, you don't have to be that good before you start unlocking things. But it looks like there's quite a few races you need to get through, which is good in a way, because it teaches you to be good. Because a lot of these games you think you're quite good, and then you go prematurely online and you get absolutely thrashed. Uh, I've unlocked this white car. I'm not an expert on cars. It's a car, isn't it? We've unlocked it anyway. So you can see by the tabs at the top, there's quite a lot of things to unlock. There's some, some stickers or paint decorations. Good. So we've probably completed about, I don't know, about 1% of the game if we're lucky. Very good. Um, I don't think there's any more races left in this series, is there? Don't think so. Right, so that's two. So we've got, we've got two out of three there again. So that's pretty much the same. Let's try this Cayouche thing. Mind you, this WLLT Cayouche. What does that say? Cayouche Trials. I think this is a time trial by the uh, the clock there. Got a choice of three cars this time. Which has got the most horsepower? But uh, also as well, you've got to look at weight too. It's an Audi, this thing. Look at that, you can customise it with all those things. Good. So, I don't know what time we need to do here. Whether it's your average speed you have to get up or a time uh, thing you have to do. Uh, but no doubt, all my PS4 friends on the network, their times will be quicker. Here we go, a nice gentle mountain, well, alpine pass it looks a bit like. A nice alpine, uh, uh, alpine, alpine pass. Let's hope I don't have to say that again. Alpine pass, right, record it. There's a, there seems to be some ghost cars here. I wonder if that's my friends recording. That'd be very clever if it is. Maybe it isn't, I, um, I don't know. But it, it might be the times you have to do. Look out for their names above there. It might be them. 16% completed. Um, yes. Concentrate. Red smoke going up there. Just hold on to the track. Don't want to crash into any of that stuff. Good. That wasn't cutting corners. You do get a penalty if you do cut the corners. Going wide. That's all. That could be a cut. Oh no! That's not good. And a ghost car goes riding past. Come back, ghost car. Now on the map, you can see those ghost cars as black dots. So it might be my chummies. At least the top four, maybe. We can get this back. So we're about 32%. I don't think this one is laps. It's just a big long circuit. I don't know if there's any real life um, race circuits recreated than this. There might very well be. If there are, let me know. Because then I'll look forward to getting to them at some point. I'd love Spa to be on this. There are a few DLCs. I'm not sure if they're included in this special version already. Let me know if they're not. Um, very tight corner coming up here. Uh, I do tend to be a bit better when there's traffic around me because I can judge the corners better. Uh, there is a ghost car behind me a little distance I can just about spot. This is a nice drive in the park, isn't it, really? It's a bit like rally driving, this. Not a circuit, it's like we're on a road. Oops, yeah, yeah, someone's going to come past, are they not? No, I think I might be at the back. Oh, there's a ghost car just in front of me. I really want to get close so I can see if there's a, a name above it for any of my online friends. Come on. Oops. Cool, just caught that. Or bridge. That always reminds me of Ridge Racer when you go into bridges like that. Excellent stuff. Is that the end? No. We're only... Look, top right. 69% into the stage. It's good that it shows you that because it gives you a bit of jeopardy how far you got to go. It's just knowing how quickly to go around the corners, because the corners are similar angles, like different types. Type bends, sweeping bends. This is a real tight one. I haven't broke... Oh, dearie me. Um, yeah. Let's get some split type. Oh, is that a cornfield? Brilliant. We are driving... It does seem like, seem like we're driving through real locations. Nothing's really repeating as far as I can make out. 
I don't know if there's any shortcuts on the circuits here to get a quicker way to where you need to be. But I, I've almost been playing this half an hour already. Oh man, this, this game is a time eater. I have to keep an eye on it because I didn't want this video to be hours long. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, maybe I should end the review here, but I'm quite tempted to do one more. Three minutes and five seconds. I, that, that was good. I didn't mind that stage. I wouldn't mind another go at that, but I won't do it in the review because I don't want you to watch the same thing. Twice, essentially, with some nice yellow... They might have been cornfields. There might have been other flowers. Uh, we're up to driver level three. How many do we have to get before we get to rookie mode? So on the right there is all the other people who are my friends. Hello, my friends. And uh, they're, they're all quicker than me. Curse you, friends. Ugh. We all know you've got turbos and nitros you've unlocked, though, surely. Or have you have you done it with a really slow car? A Sinclair C5 or something. I'll, I'll get you. If you've, got, if you've got this game, you just watch me catch you up. Maybe I'll get my vengeance here. This is the Hot Hatch Cup. Um, I don't want to do the whole championship. Should we do one? I keep saying, should we do one last one? Well, we're going to do one last one again. What's got the most horsepower? I've got to be competitive against all my friends. Paint job. Um, does the paint job make it go quicker? Probably not. It's good that the car keeps getting fixed each time. Here's me getting in, which I'll probably have to edit. Nice car. We're in an Audi. Don't know what it is. Indian Hot Hatch Cup. I wouldn't mind an Indian, actually. With some Papa Dums and some uh, beer. But no beer before we race. We're not advocates of drinking and driving. Could we win? Get the winning ways back in. Oh, look, there's some leaves flying down from the trees. Good stuff. Dynamic environment. One of the cars above me has laid down some rubber on the track. A bit of wheel spin for him. Eight cars in this one. Ah, uh, so we're in a proper race again. Tight corner. We know what happens in tight corners. I gain lots of ground. There we go. Around the outside of that twit. Uh, some other tight corners coming up. Let's just thread it through. Haven't got time to look at all of my displays, but it's probably giving me very exciting information. Car moves very... This game moves very, very quick, and these aren't the most powerful cars. This is the hot hatch. This is stage one of the cars. You've got sports cars, which I... Well, there's that Tesco at the start, wasn't there? Performance, super... Imagine hyper cars on this. They might be going twice as quick. Whoops. Cool, I'm very slow round here. Right. Up into fifth. Let's get round this fall. Going through some sort of small town. Is this a computer game, or is this actually real? Am I driving this for real? Oop, do. Gah. Good checkpoints. Fifth of eight. These cars look a little bit quicker than before. 30%. So we're almost approach approaching the further way through this um, track. First time I've ever raced, and someone's coming around the outside has got quicker speed off that corner, but I think I've headed them off. Trees in bloom, nice red. We probably won't see them again. 39%, right. Some tight bends, please, so I can get up to fourth, maybe the podium. See my credits building up there, 2804. Right, oh, someone around the outside again. Right, I must be able to gain something here. Under braking, good. Good, I'm better under braking than Nigel Mansell. Right, up into third. Straights, I tend to lose it. Corners, I gain. This looks like a very tough bit of track here. Can't remember what country we're in. Let me know. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, I felt that. I think the whole bumper would have gone. Am I in? No, second. Oh, I can. I can, must be able to make some time up here. So I remember a few weeks ago I was playing Test Drive 2. It was one of all my uh, all-time classic favourite games. There was a mountain stage. Now, chart that forward to this game. If this game was called Test Drive 12, I'd be delighted, but, but it isn't. It's called Drive Club. If the police could chase you in this, then that'd be great, but, you know, Need for Speed, that's your game you play if you want to be chased by the police. Brilliant, brilliant. I can't say the word brilliant, fantastic, sensational enough in this. Ridge Racer type uh, bridge. Hooray! First of eight I am, if you haven't noticed. We can do this thing. 
It's much more better, much more better. It's much better once you start winning, which I am. But no doubt, uh, the difficulty level is going to start going up as you go through. Lovely scenery, but can't watch it too much. You can probably watch it a bit more than me. Because I happen to keep an eye on the road. You might prefer a different view, as I mentioned before, like cockpit view might be your bag or chase view. Um, this view seems to work out better for me. On other games I've used the bonnet view, but I need to be low on the track here to try and get the... Um, make it look as if I'm trying to get the racing lines, otherwise I tend to miss them a little bit. Cars still behind me, you can check the rear view mirror, I haven't lost them. It's starting to get a bit darker into the day as we go towards the setting sun. 95% so we're coming up to the finish here around here. Probably going to win again to be fair. There it is. Come on, boomer. Or boof. Nick wins again. Nick has won again. Ba ba da ba ba. That yeah, absolutely marvelous game. I can't I can't praise it enough. We'll leave that down there. I hope you liked having a look at that. That was Drive Club on the PlayStation 4, developed by Evolution Studios and published by Sony in 2014. If you've got any comments about that game or any similar ones or about the PlayStation 4 at all, then please put your memories and comments below. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.